<laughs> Guys, if you saw how many times I try and do an intro to a video, it's- it's ridiculous, okay? This is like the seventh attempt. Welcome back to some more Hogwarts, everyone. It's, uh, it's time, I think, we focused a little bit more on the story. We do have side quests, and in fact, I may actually try and do this lake one, uh, to start off with, just because we're quite close to it. Also, we've got some Merlin's Trials, apparently quite close to Hogsfield, so maybe we'll check those out as well. But I really, I just really want to unlock the flying. I want to get my broom, which is just going to make everything so much quicker and easier to explore, because, um, yeah, we wandered quite a bit south last time. We cleared a camp, we got that uh, goblin's paintings back. So there's undoubtedly going to be so, so many different things we can do. Um, a lot of them are going to be optional. Now, again, I'm not going to say I'm going to do everything in this game. Um, but I, just, I, th I think for now, I just want to focus on the story. Uh, apparently there's um, a freaking portrait or something that wants to talk to us in the common room. So we'll go do that as well. But first, let's head back to Hogsfield and see if we can do this lake quest. Find the astro... Whatever it's called. Seems pleasant enough little place. <clears throat> um, and uh, Gillyweed. Thank you to those in the comments who told me. Yes, it was Gillyweed that Harry used to breathe underwater. I don't think we've got any Gillyweed, Philip. So, God knows how this is going to go. Um, we're going to ruin our lovely, lovely kilt and uh, serial killer mask. I look like freaking Jack the Ripper went on holiday to Scotland. That's what I look like right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was cool. Um meeting, what's, oh, was it Nora, Nora Treadwell? Uh, the Merlin's Trials, yeah, they, they apparently increase your inventory space if you do enough of them, so I definitely do want to do those, if nothing else. Um, we swim really slow, there we go, that's it, get your front crawl going. I'm actually a really bad swimmer, I can swim, but I'm, I, I wouldn't go nearly as fast as that, especially wearing all this kit. I mean, you must be mad, right? Dive into the Black Lake and find the Astrolabe. How on earth do I do this? Well, apparently I'm quite close to the spot. This must be where the Pink Smedley family Astrolabe is. Right, okay. I mean, I don't know how you know this, Philip, because the lake is pretty big. But no, it's apparently in this spot. Um, can I... How do I dive? I've not been told how to dive yet. Do I have to go to a certain spot? I mean, at, oh, there we go. That looks suspicious. That looks suspicious. Something's bubbling. I don't, I don't like this. Oh. Okay, so there's no underwater exploration. Oh. No, we just, we found a sun hat in the lake. Oh, so these bubbling points are just basically points of interest that you investigate. I, th I was going to say, I don't remember seeing any footage of, of underwater stuff in the pre-release um, trailers and things, so I was wondering how this would work. And we got three Wigan Weld potions. Brilli brilliant. Like Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Yeah, I need those because I did go through quite a few in the last episode. Um, I will try and get better at the combat. I, I'm kind of scraping by at the moment, or at least I'm not doing it in a very efficient way, stylish way. Um, I'm, I'm getting the job done, but it's I've I've got like no flair. Like if this was a Devil May Cry game, I'd be getting like a, an E rank or a D rank or however low the rank goes. Right. Well, at least I found it. That didn't really take too long, Philip. I didn't know you were you were uh, a champion diver. I cer I certainly wouldn't be able to do that. No way. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. No, I just pressed square. It's actually really easy. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay, Grace Pinch Smedley. How am I going to deal with this? Could just give it her, which is the goody two shoes. And the thing I would do. Um, we could barter for it, or I could just keep it. Now, I don't know what I would do with an astrolabe. Apparently, it's like the whole universe in your hand, which I'm calling bullshit. 
I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for a little bit of something because I don't I don't know if I would get a reward if I didn't. And being that this is a video game, I want I want stuff for my time, okay? So I'm gonna ask I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, no, you'll get it if you give me the goods. I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. Yes. I see. That's fair, I suppose. Yes. A reward, so to speak, yes. for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You're welcome. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Found a sun hat. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. Wait a minute. Okay, I was going to say, we got 20 gold then. I was like, is that the reward? We just got a mask. Is that a mermaid mask? A lot of XP. Good stuff. Okay, well, I'm glad that didn't take too long, because again, I, I do I do want to just crack on with the story for a little bit. Um, let me just check my gear, because we did get an upgrade, obviously. But we... Oh yeah, we got plenty of space. We got plenty of space. Um, there's that shitty sun hat. Uh, I really do like this mask. It's so freaking sinister. Uh, what was the... Oh, one. Mermaid mask, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. It doesn't really go with my aesthetic, though. I, I, I do, I do prefer this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're like a, a, a wizarding Michael Myers. I love it. Right. I don't think there's anything else I can equip that's better. I don't think so. It'd be nice if there was, like, an optimize option. I do like that in RPGs. But... Doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that scarf we found. We're level 16, so we can equip that now. Jolly good. That reminds me of the scarf. It isn't in any way similar, except the colours, kind of, uh, that, that Michael Caine wears in Muppet's Christmas Carol. In fact, we do look like him with the top hat as well. I mean, he wasn't wearing that mask. That would be quite a different film. But uh, but anyway, I don't. I'm just rambling here. Let's let's go. Let's do some Merlin's trials and then head back to the castle. I feel like I'm constantly going to be saying things like, "Yeah, we're going to do this," but but hang on a minute. <clears throat> I guess she fast traveled. Uh, oh, look at the sun. Sun coming through the trees. We are absolutely drowning in leaping toadstool caps. I'm surprised I'm not being lifted off the ground by them all. Right, there is definitely a Merlin's Trial. Yeah, there's one there. In fact, there's there's one on the way to Hogsmeade as well. Um, let's go. Let's go do this one. And uh, oh yeah, we've got a hand in. The, we need to go back to Professor Hecate because we can get Expelliarmus now. I think. Because we did all of her uh, combat stuff last time. God, we got so much. Yeah, Moonstone and Toadstool. Jumping Toadstool caps. We, we are never going to be uh, struggling I for those. When I see one. Right. How much Mallow Sweet do I actually have? Obviously enough to do this one, at least. Right, what do we need to do for this one? Ah, more bows. And look, looky there. That's one. Probably more than that. Okay. Revelio. Uh... Ooh, what's this? Oh, more Ashwinder eggs. Are Ashwinders snakes? Or are they dragons? I don't I don't actually know what an Ashwinder is. Um also, yeah, the game did tell me last time that I should check enemy descriptions. Is that in collections, I'm guessing? Yeah. And en enemies, appearances, beasts, where's me? Conjurations, wand handles, traits, tools, enemies. Wait, there's 69 enemies in the game. That's nice. Yeah, so uh, apparently this will tell me like how to beat them more efficiently. 
like the Cotton Grass Dugbog. While covering from their attack lunge, they are vulnerable to force spells that will flip or force their bodies in various directions, like Flippendo, maybe? I can't wait to learn that. When its mouth is wide open, Levioso can be used on its fleshy tongue to hoist it into the air. Yeah, because I did have problems with them. I did have problems with them. They were quite tough. So, um... Hmm. Um, and there was, um... Th those... They were firing stuff at me, and apparently I could use the ancient magic to grab them and fire them back at them. Uh, very Star Warsy, And I, I didn't realize until I'd beaten them all, so... Uh, it looks like there's going to be a decent amount of depth to the combat, or at least, like, a few things you can do. Which is good. Right. Rebellion. There's got to be another... Ah, okay, so there's the... There's the... There we go, found him. Sweet. Accio. So it looks like these trials aren't going to be too difficult. Excuse me, sheep. Excuse me, Sean. Oh. <laughs> um. Alright, there's one more somewhere. So is, there, is it three? Three the magic number? Oh, there we go. Not too difficult. <laughs> right. These they won't. They won't, Philip. Not not if I'm around. As we know, I'm a I'm a puzzling genius. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of cool to me that Merlin was a Slytherin. I don't know why. I don't know why that's so cool. I've been to a lot of uh, places down south that are apparently linked to Merlin. Um, apparently, uh, there's a there's a obviously it's a it's a, obviously Merlin didn't exist. Merlin is a myth, but like, um, I think near where my one of my grandparents lived down south, where my dad grew up, the the there's some link to Merlin. I can't remember what it is. Like he was supposed to be buried there or something. Um, but I, I've I I should really look into more of the King Arthur stuff because it is fascinating to me. I do like a good bit of uh, a legend, bit of folklore, and uh, yeah, those balloons are probably as people so rightly mentioned in the comments, probably to do with the broom, which I just completely didn't put two and two together because I'm an idiot. But at least I, I know I'm an idiot. Should investigate what. Oh, there's something on the minimap. Is there a cave over here? Oh, is there a cave down here? Oh, this is the problem. I keep saying, focus on the story. Nah, but there's a cave over here that needs exploring. Whee! And more leech juice. Oh, it's another one of these. And hawk clump juice, which we definitely do need. Uh, Levioso? No, Levioso, you dick. Ooh. Oh! Oh, do they respond to different spells? Oh, I accidentally did it right, I think. Why are you not moving? Why is that not opening? Oh, wait! Incendium. I saw it glowing. It's got fire on it. I get it now. I get it now. Whoa! Right, what's down here then? These, the, the last place wasn't too big, so I'm guessing this one will just have some Rebellion. items in it. Yep, what have we got here? Ooh, a periwinkle top hat. Not going to be as stylish as the one I've got, but it is better stats-wise. Anything else in here? Is that it? Just one chest? Although, that makes me think that there's more to this. It's a symbol on the rock. Wonder if I have to. Hmm. Wonder what that's all about. I don't think I have a spell for that. Rebellion. And it's not showing up in the Revelio, so maybe it's nothing. Uh, anyway. Right. Well, that was good. Nice little uh, short detour. <laughs> I will say, I mean, the spells just feel really satisfying to use. They really, really do. Um, our next Merlin trial should be along this path. Yep, yeah, right over here. Oh, I actually, I better, I better equip that hat. 
It probably looks okay. Just not... Not quite as good. Three more defense, yeah. Oh, actually, it's got a feather in it. Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll rock that for a little bit. The old feather in the cap. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. I bet he's got quite quite big big sleeves, being a wizard. Right then, what are we doing here? Oh, we got a big boulder. This this does give me Breath of the Wild vibes a little bit. I must admit, a little bit like the Korok uh, seed challenges. Um, although unfortunately, when we do beat a Merlin trial, we don't get the yaha, which is adorable. Um, where am I supposed to put that? Big bow. Where am I supposed to put that? That seems to be the only thing around here. Do I just bring it back to the... Ch that seems awfully too... That's too easy. It's not just going to be bringing this. Uh, oh, saying that, I can't Accio it. I can't Levios. Oh, maybe I need a different spell. Maybe I need a different spell. I mean, I, I can barely move it with... Yeah, I bet I need a different spell. Or maybe upgrade a... Oh, hang on. Did that work? That is not working. That is one heavy ball. Okay, well, I'm not quite sure what to do with that one then. Yet. Uh, maybe I can't until I get another spell. Unless I'm not thinking of something else I could use, but I if I can't Leviosa it, or Accio it, I don't really have much else. Um, I doubt it's going to be Repero or anything, so I guess we'll have to come back to that one later. Right, well, since... Um, I mean, we are very close to the castle, but I think we'll just fast travel to... Um, the Dark Arts Classroom, probably. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Change map. Not Hogsmeade. Right, where's... Um, yeah, look, there's more, there's more side quests, guys. Uh... Oh, Conjuration Spellcraft? Descending for sweets. It appears that... Oh, Gareth! Gareth wants to talk to me again, right. Yeah, we'll... We'll do that eventually, I promise. Um, what other side quests have we got? Summoner's Court, match one. Summoner's Court is popular at Hogwarts. Students often gather near the board looking for new opponents to challenge. Is this just, um... Oh! It's that minigame again, is it? Is it? It must be. Yeah, Summoner. Accio. Yeah, that must be it. Oh, so we can actually do more of that, can we? That'll be fun. Did quite enjoy that. Um, but that can wait for a little bit. Astronomy Wing. What have we got here? Oh, another... Oh, that is the... Oh, that is the assignment. Right, yes. Let's go and do that, then. Let's track that. Let's go there. Get Expelliarmus. Which, um, yeah, disarms people, right? Might be useful. Oh my god, Ignatia. I swear to god. Oh, we, is it a montage? This is totally a montage. I'm going to school. I'm learning spells. Making friends. Because that's what Filipendo does. How random. I just, yeah, I, <laughs> I came here to talk to Professor Air. That was weird. Take care. Of everything I had asked you to do. I mean, it kind of, it's good that, like, okay, so you're not just going to one class. We've basically just had another lesson, but, you know, how many lessons would you have in a year? Like, hundreds. Uh, so not all of them are going to be particularly important, but it's nice that they had that little cutscene. I like that. Professor Hecate. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Yes. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. I just spilt coke on my pants. <clears throat> Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. 
Nailed it. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Oh, Gareth's here, is he? Ah, <laughs> I see what I did there. Uh, right, let's do it. Expelliarmus. Also, a bit of XP, very nice. Halfway to level 17. So, instead of Lumos, let's get some Expelliarmus. Um, also, also, deal de uh, also deals damage to enemies, even if they do not carry a weapon. Right, good. So, we, we're probably going to have that equipped most of the time, then. Expelliarmus, you seem to have the right end of the stick. But keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Oh, okay, I can't just spam it. You dropped your wand, mate. Oh, he came back. Nice. Alright, we got a new spell. Okay, to the common room. Cause yeah, I think um I think if I progress enough of the story, we'll unlock a few things like brooms, maybe a few more spells. And that will mean that when I do go back to doing a lot of the optional stuff, we'll be able to do more. So I just, yeah, it makes, even though I, I usually typically like to do as many side quests as possible as soon as I can in games, uh, I think it's probably worth holding off a little bit. Um, this, this story quest is called Prisoner of Love. The portrait of Eldritch Diggory, former Ministry of Magic, may have some information for me. Right, well, um, yeah, let's go, shall we? Let's go. Feels like ages since I've been back here. God, I do. I love this common room. I did not think I would enjoy this one. Nearly as... Well, I didn't really know what to expect, but... I didn't expect this. Right. Hello, mate. You uh, wanted to talk to me, apparently. Also, what's... Just, yeah, just have a quick cake. It's a massive bit of cake. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. Oh? I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder, thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know How about that? How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits hear more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. Uh. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. Justice! God, if the portraits really are... I mean, I suppose they can wander between frames, can't they? They can go pretty much everywhere. And there's so many portraits in Hogwarts, it must be an absolute nightmare to masturbate in peace. Um, justice must be served. Murder sounds intriguing. Oh, we're definitely saying that. This could be right up my street. Even we Hufflepuffs enjoy a good mystery. Glad <laughs> to hear you are up to the challenge. Plus, I believe you'll benefit from this undertaking. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? Yeah, okay. Well, I know Hogsfield quite well. Um, can you tell me more about Helen? Uh, how would the pages help her? I mean, again, we don't need to say this stuff. Could just go and chat to her, probably quicker and easier, but let, I just want to know a little bit more about her. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but. It's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. I can, yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't disagree with that. One thing, <clears throat> right? He's obviously dead. He, he was, he was, he lived a long ass time ago, right? So when wizards die, and yet there's a portrait of them, they act like they're just like the afterlife is being a painting. How does it work? Anyone in the comments just, like, because that's something I've actually, I don't know if I've ever really thought about. Was it explained in the books? Let me know. Because, like, how do, how is he alive in a, in a portrait with, like, all of his memories and stuff if he's dead? 
Like, you know what I mean? It's weird. <clears throat> anyway, um, let's just go. Let's go chat to Helen. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. Brilliant. What I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind. Both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there soon. I hope. Yeah, I guess you can just wander off to Hogsfield then. Has she got a painting of you there? A quick uh, apple to offset the uh, immense amount of sugar I've just taken in with that massive piece of cake. Um, <clears throat> Revelio. Oh, while we're here, we might as well hand in the uh, tokens because we've got quite a few of those now. That's it. I'm making good progress with those tokens. Yeah, how many have we handed in now? Oh, I have to do it individually. Oh, I see. I like giant poker tokens. This Dedalian Keys challenge is coming along nicely. God, I didn't realize I'd found that many. Look at that. Whoa. Nearly halfway. We're halfway there. Whoa. Slapping keys in cabinets. Right, where am I going? Yeah, back to Hogsfield. So we could take this opportunity to go do some side quests, but no. I'm I'm going to progress the story for now. God damn it. I've said I'm going to do that, and I'm going to bloody do it. Um, that's Hogsmeade. That's not where I want to go. Uh, although apparently... No, there's no quests in, in Hogsmeade right now. Um... Hey, where's it telling me to go? Oh, because I'm still tracking that. Wait, hang on. Oh! Oh, she's... She's in Upper Hogsfield. Oh, I've not been there yet. Right, so we might as well fast travel to Hogsmeade and then make our way north then. Gotcha. Is there anything I want to do in Hogsmeade while I'm there? We don't know. Got on the wrong bloody map again. Yeah, uh, I could sell some stuff, but we've got plenty of space. So, unless there's anything... Yeah, let's just, yeah, let's do this. Let's go. I do wonder how long the main story is. Oh, there's the, that's the thing I mentioned earlier. Freaking dude just playing a French horn or tuba or whatever that is. Proper banging tunes, mate. In fact, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give you ten gold coins for that. And I don't really think that does anything. Like, <laughs> it's nice that you can interact with stuff, but it would be also nice if there was a point to it. Um, I could skip another stone. Watch out! All right, off we go. It's a lovely day for a stroll through the countryside. Maybe we'll stumble across some more, uh... Oh, another page. Stumble across some, some good, cool stuff. Right. That's a very, uh... Quite a, a poor little sad structure there, isn't it? You know what it reminds me? It reminds me of uh, the the shed in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Grand, Grand, Grandad's shed. P O S H Posh. Can you believe Dick Van Dyke's still alive at, at time of recording? At time of recording, he's like ninety seven or something, and it wasn't he on a show recently where he was singing and dancing at ninety seven? Freaking heck! Good on you, Dick. It's well impressive. Oh, money. Um, what are those? Are they normal creatures or are they magical creatures? Hmm. God, so I think uh, being a farmer is quite um, lucrative. You know, you really rake it in. You really... <coughs> da, da, da. Why do you guys watch these? We don't know. That was a big freaking pumpkins. Bloody hell. Uh, oh, we got some, we got some baddies nearby. What have we got? Oh, I think they're humanoids. These rocks have seen better days. These rocks have seen better days. Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. 
be it upon your head. Nothing to poach in air insurance except spiders. Not worth the trouble, if you ask me. <laughs> Love all the different banter. Um... It isn't Nora Incendio. Yes! Have you got a wand, what? mate? This is almost too easy. Yeah, you don't anymore. Nice. Defeat dark wizards. So I might actually... I've unlocked rewards. Oh, I've got... Have I? Have I got more challenges done? I thought I handed all those in. So am I actually killing these people? Um, I've noticed my camera keeps freezing. Again, that's so... Oh my god, that's so annoying. I thought I fixed it. Um, am I killing these, these wizards? Or are they just getting really hurt and then apparating away? I don't... Am I actually committing murder is what I want to know. Because I'm not using lethal spells, am I? I'm not using the, the killing curse yet. Yet. But soon. Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got the... Oh, we've got the dragon hide cloak now. Oh, I definitely do want to check that out, actually. That sounds badass. That sounds badass. As much as I do like the kilt I'm wearing. Yes. Yes. Really doesn't match the kilt, so I'm going to have to replace the kilt. Uh, what would go well with that? Oh! Oh, even the scarf goes with it, you know. Oh, yes. Oh, I like that. Dude! We look so freaking cool now. Oh my god. I might never change my outfit ever again. I really like that coat. I, I want that coat in real life. Revelio. Right, was there anything here? Yeah, we got a chest. Some money. Blue solar protection goggles. This game's gorgeous, man. Whee! There's a lot of sheep. A lot of sheep around here. Oh, I like your coat. I like poiple. Mine's cooler, though. Um, beware spiders. Yeah, I think I won't bother going that way just yet. Alright, we made it. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. I'm guessing in that house. Um, let's grab the station. I'm flew. not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Uh, oh. Dugbog warning. Warning Dugbog sighting. Be careful. Okay. Doesn't mention where. <laughs> that is the that is the laziest message anyone's ever written. Like, watch out, sky blue. Regards. So oh, is someone else playing some banging tunes around here. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Right, I've got another side quest. God, there's going to be so much. There's so there's three side quests here, guys. There's at least three. Brother's Keeper, Wand Handles, Appearance, Conjuration Spellcraft, uh, Claire Beaumont, Ghost of Our Love. While in Upper Hogsfield, I spied a chest behind Claire Beaumont's vendor stall. It seemed to be unlocked. I wonder who could be, what could be in it. Right, again, focus on the story, mage. We can do these side quests at some point. Because I'm pretty sure even when you beat the game, you can still clear up stuff you haven't done, I think. In fact, that could be something you guys tell me. Can, can you do that? I hope so. I like it when games let me do that. Right. Here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. God. Oh, oh. Like, I, I do wonder what the, what the painting world is like. Like, how... You know what I mean? Um, oh. The Thistle and the Badge, part one of three. Don't mind me, Helen. I'm just going to read your little... No, oh, that's, that's quite long. 
Okay, I'm not I'm not reading that after all. Um Anything in here? Oh, there's part two. I'm sure it's wonderful. You guys can pause it if you're really quick and read it. Rebellion. Oh, I really like those those things on the lampshade. I don't know what they're called, like tassels? I don't know. Uh, oh, you've got some... Do you mind if I just... I, I'm a bit hard up on cash. Three? Helen? Three gold? Really? Alright, that's a bit better. Letter from Eddie Th uh, Thistlewood. Dear sister, it's been some time since we've heard from you. How are things in the ministry? We continue to think of you and hope that you're doing well. Hasn't she, didn't he say she's retired? Uh, you'll be happy to, uh, to know that we've all made our peace with your decision to become an aura, as dangerous as it is. Oh, this must be an old letter then. You must live your life and follow your path. You are doing so in the service of the wizarding world. I am proud to call you sister. I must inform you of something that you may find curious. It seems a troll has taken up residence in the train tunnel near town. Poor things, most certain to learn a tragic lesson about the fundamental velocity of locomotives. Ooh, I wonder if that troll's still around. Anyway, hi Helen. You've got a weird house. Why have we got a massive... Well, I suppose that's your bedroom, isn't it? Yeah. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. Azkaban! It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. Another Black. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. Oh. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. Mm. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. She had a soul sucked out of her by Dementors. Um, I'll come I'll come with you to Azkaban if it will save her. Am I actually gonna go to Azkaban? I thought like she had served time in Azkaban and then was released. Am I going to go to Azkaban? Anything to see Azkaban. Probably my future home, if Filipendo has anything to say about it. I've always wanted to see Azkaban. Count me in. I suppose it has a peculiar appeal to some, but it can be terribly disconcerting. Yeah. <laughs> I messed up. Being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. I can't believe we're going to freaking Azkaban. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Jackdaw's ghost. He, it was a headless ghost? So it sounds like Richard met quite a horrific end. Can you tell me more about the prisoner, Anne? I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul never was the brightest girl, and that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. How long has she been in Azkaban? 
Uh, tell me more about Apollonia. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. Oh dear. Right, well, I'm ready to go. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry, I've never splinched anyone. Splinched? Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. I think I'll look like I'll- I'll, I'll fit right in in Azkaban. <laughs> the way I look right now. Oh, I can't believe it! We're going to Azkaban! Ooh. Okay, this is intimidating. Dementors! Oh, they are quite scary. She's got a bunny rabbit patronum. That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. That's just my life. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place. But we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Mind your step. I, I never mean, thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. Ah, okay. There's no need for such monsters. So Dementors are just dicks to everyone, regardless of if you're innocent or not. The heck? Why is that rolling about? Why is that basket rolling about? Can I- can I tease the prisoners? Ooh. Okay, maybe- no, I feel bad now. I feel bad. I wonder if there's... <laughs> okay. God, I wonder what these people have done. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. Who's there? Oh God, is that what Anne? She sounds... Oh God. Oh, the school's going to believe this. Now remember... Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. I'll try my best. Are I'm not are? some sort of Who's negotiator. There? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. So if you go mad in Azkaban, do you just start speaking in rhyme? Is that why Peeves is the way he is? Um, I think I understand. Why must you be so cryptic? No, we need to be, we need to be respectful. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave near Upper Hogsfield? Hogs, hogs, fields, fields, ruins, house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, now you're here. Coming closer, be a deer. What is it, Anne? <laughs> what the fuck? What did she do? Why would you go closer? Why would you- why would you listen to that woman? You're hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... What the frick? But, Madam Thistlewood, I... All right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. 
Bloody hell. Things are, things are getting a bit, uh... Well, a little bit scary, if I'm honest. She was terrifying. <laughs> I looked terrifying through those bars with that mask on, but I, I was... I'd be more scared of a van. Okay, Jesus yes, Christ. Right, where are we going? Where's this cave? Also, there are definitely chests here. Rebellion. Rebellion. Oh, should have returned by now. Had by can I... Can I... Go grab some? I'm just gonna loot this whole house. Yep. Ooh! A gold sex toy for my wand. 22, good number. What did I just eat? Did, did I just eat some nuts or something? I think there's something behind the house as well. Yeah, I love this coat. This looks intriguing. Aha. Look at this view. And a broom. Can I can I borrow this? Can I borrow Surely I could Oh. Look at that view. Oh my god. That is stunning. Ooh, is a that looks like a camp down there, actually. Yeah, that's totally a camp. Right, anyway. Find what Jackdaw left. Oh, that's the chest that's part of the quest. Right, we'll not do that one just yet. Level one lock. Another demiguise statue. Have a quick swig or whatever that is. Revelio. That is a very big fireplace. I think there was a chest. Oh, I think it is. Is that the quest chest? No, there is a chest in there. How do I get to it? Oh, very sneaky. Uh, a giant purple toad statue. Wonderful. Yeah. It's like there's probably other things. There's a question mark down here. Revelio. Oh, there's a page. Pumpkin fizz. Pumpkin fizz is a fashionable carbonated drink with a pumpkin flavor. It is yet to become as popular here as butterbeer. But one never knows. I don't know if that ever did become popular. Challenge unlocked! Collect uh, pages in the highlands. Check that out in a minute. Ooh, a ladder. And it looks like where we're supposed to go is below us. Oh, hello! What are you doing? Okay. I'll be going now. That was odd. What was the point of coming up here then? Rebellion. Oh, there is there's some stuff in here. Uh Yep, had to do it, sorry, sorry. Cedar Rivet Gloves. I mean, I do like the gloves that I've got equipped right now, so we might just transmog them. Oh, that's level 17 anyway, and it would only give us one more offense, so... Not fantastic. Rebellion. Yeah, we have to make our way down there somehow. Okay, whoever runs this uh, little bar isn't here right now, so don't mind if I do. Oh, we got another fur-lined cap. I'm definitely not going to wear that, but I will equip it. If I can, that is. Uh, I can. Five more defense. Not too shabby. <laughs> we look ridiculous with it on, though. No, no, no. I think I'm going to I'm gonna go back to the classic top hat. I do like that. Right. It's like a place right out of a storybook. 
Oh, yes. Ba -ba -ba. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic would Yes, yes, yes. I reckon Rookwood played a hand in his disappearance. I freaking love this scenery. Dude. Revelio. All right, let's see what's down here then. I wonder if this is where the... Uh, is the troll going to be here, do you reckon? Said it was a train tunnel, though. So, I don't know if a, if a train would be going through here unless we find a way through to one, through this cave. <laughs> I think we might need Lumo, see ya chaps. This must be the place Anne told me about. Well, maybe not, actually. Oh, it is getting no a little bit dark. For ages. It is getting a little bit dark. Oh. Oh, have we got a puzzle? Have we got an Accio puzzle in here? I think we do. Oh, we definitely do. Uh... Rebellion. Right, how the frick am I going to figure this out? Stylish informal school uniform. Can I... Incendio. Oh. I have to, do I have to crawl under that? Oh, I did burn it! Did I? Wait. Oh, I still can't get through there. That's weird. Yeah, but I, I mean, you could e you could easily fit through there, Philip, but apparently you don't- Ooh, whoa! What the frick? Did I break this? Oh! Maybe you have to weaken it and then you can- Or maybe I could have just shot it from the beginning. Okay. Let's, uh, let's open this then. Oh, just some money. Oh, okay. All, all of that for some money, right. Well, um, maybe I just have to- I feel like I need to open a specific one. But I don't really know. It's no wonder I never found that clue. Hmm. I think I'm let's let's equip let's get some Lumos on the go, cause I can't see crap in here. Lumos. Is there any clue? Lumos. Any, anything in here that can let me know what I need to do? Maybe it's just trial and error. Accio. No. <laughs> How did you do this, Jackdaw? I don't know. Is that is that important? Is th I mean this must be important. Revelio. Lumos. But that doesn't look like anything to me. Um. Oh. Oh, well, that's stuck out, hasn't it? What about if I... I was going to say, maybe I need to do both of the same, like, alternate the same ones. What do you reckon? Okay, that seems to be working. That's done something. I don't know how I'm doing this, but okay. Um. Accio. You couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? Am I just a genius? Or did I do that by accident? Like, I felt I had a system there, but I, <laughs> I don't know how you were supposed to figure that out. I don't know. Anyway, we did it. Lumos. We did it. Oh, hello. What's this? Jackdaw's clue. My dearest Anne, well done. You solved my puzzle. I knew you were a kindred spirit and the only one with whom I could truly share my adventures. Meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest as soon as you can and I'll show you the map that I mentioned. There's no telling where it will lead us. I found it on pages that Peeves ripped from a secret book and no one else seems to be able to find. Um, I haven't had any idea what lies ahead. Um, 
but I am glad to know I shall share my future with you. This is only the beginning. Richard, P.S. I'm terribly glad you found this, as I would have gone on alone if you did not. And what fun would that be? A note from Jackdaw. Anne never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? I doubt it. I think he probably got murdered by something in the Forbidden Forest, maybe. Lumos. Nothing Rebecca. else here. Nope. Okay, well, yeah, I have no idea how I did that puzzle. <laughs> I'll take it, though. Right, I let's leave. I bet something's going to attack us on the way out. Oh. Is this his ghost? Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done, indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw. I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves. And then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? If you really wanted her to come with you, why why didn't you just why didn't you just tell her? Why did you go through all this trouble of hiding that behind a puzzle? I I, I don't know. You ruined her life. Um basically, yeah. She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. Why didn't you exonerate her? What? Azkaban. Oh poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be moldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. And I'll show you precisely where to find them. How did you lose your head? This might be a bit of an insensitive question, but... If you don't mind me asking, how did you lose your head? I was having a look about when I suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, if you do find yourself in a cave, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. Hmm, what could that be? Is it going to be a troll or is it going to be something else? I bet it's a troll. Um, how did you steal from Peeves? I don't really care, but we'll ask anyway. How is it possible to steal from Peeves? A poltergeist. I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. Ah. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Penchant! Books, bottles, suits of armor, whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. Found them on the floor outside the library where he discarded them. Not my luckiest find, all things considered. No, I probably, <laughs> probably wish he never did. Right, um, is this all Apollonia's fault? Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather... vindictive. Mm. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold simply didn't matter. Okay. Um, yeah, it sounds like the Blacks, on the whole, are just bastards. But Sirius was obviously a pretty, pretty awesome dude. Um, thank you, I guess. That'll do. I'll thank meet you... you. I need to find those pages to help a friend. I shall see you there. Yeah, I'll meet you at the Forbidden Forest then. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. There's uh, a couple of enemies nearby. In fact, is that the spider cave that we saw? Could be. Anyway. Is there a cave below us? Whoa. That's a long way down. Right. How do I, um... Oh, I guess I just go back up this way. I suppose I could fast travel, actually. We did get the flu station near the Forbidden Forest, didn't we? We could do that. 
Um, oh, actually, it's not quite near. Where, well, sort of near. I suppose we can... Oh, there's a Merlin's Trial nearby that as well. Could have a quick look at that, I suppose. I might wait till uh, daytime, though, because it's bloody dark right now. It was freaking honking daffodils. I wondered what that was then. Um, right, Merlin's thing's over this way. I think, anyway. Hang on, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, let's head over there and do that first. Wait until daytime. Weird looking daytime, this, isn't it? Hang on a minute. Wait. Wait here to advance time from day to night or night to day. Yes. There we go. All right. Oh, I've got, I've got a post. I've got a mail. Got an owl. Helen sent me a letter. I was trying to read that. What she sent me. Uh. Greetings. Happy to report that my sister Helen survived that sudden attack in Azkaban. So this isn't from her. That's from Eddie. Okay. Um, after seeing the condition in Azkaban, I knew Helen said it's no wonder Anne's mind is got so far gone. Yeah. Um, she's not going to hold a grudge. Seems found Drakdor's ghost and told him about Anne. Helen wanted to know what he has evidently promised to... Oh. Right, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, help, help Anne out. Freaking horrific. Uh, right, quickly accept a challenge. Oh, I thought we'd... I thought we'd got one done. Or is it just a new one? Oh, it is. Yeah, okay, right. <clears throat> Let's go do a Moylin challenge. Lumos. It's still really bloody dark, isn't it? More lacewing flies. Do I have enough Mallow Sweet? That's the thing. I might need to go buy some soon. Whoa. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Okay, we've got enough. What are those weird balls? What do I do with them? There's a few of them. Accurate. Uh... Oh, do I just need to destroy them all? Oh, I see. There's quite a few more. Okay. I'm not timed, am I? Would be proud. Well, that was bloody easy. <laughs> that was easy. I mean, I'll not complain. I bet, I bet later ones are going to be really well hidden. Ooh, level 17? I must be so close. Right, well that was good. That was fun. Um, oh, we got a page. Or something. Or was that a bird? That was an owl, was it? Oh yeah, it's just some owls. I wanted to accio one of the owls. Right. Let's head over to the Forbidden Forest. And then we'll probably call it a video, I reckon. Ooh. Oh, we've got a camp. Okay, hang on. Let's clear this out first. Again, maybe I should try being invisible. Um, also, probably get rid of Lumos and get some Expelliarmus equipped. When I sit above it, Have a box. <laughs> Cast Stupefy on an enemy. Okay. Boom. Done. Oh, bollocks, didn't do that in time. Careful. Oh, gosh, what is that? Oh, Christ! 
Oh god, leave me alone! Why did I just expel the arm as a wolf? <laughs> right, wolf animagus. Okay, did I kill it? Oh no! Oh, bollocks! Right, this is tough. Oh, I keep on pressing bloody the wrong button to dodge. Stop that! Oh, I missed. Ah, oh, crap, I don't have any. I think I've ran I'm out of potions now. I think this is it. Trying to cast Incendio. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, is he? Wait, is that dead? Like... Wait. Oh, okay. How did I win that fight? How did I win that fight? I did that so poorly. Level 17. Oh my god. I got rinsed then. I have no potions. I need to find some Wigan Weld or make some. I might um, might do that off screen actually. Either go buy. Some oh, thank you. Okay, so at least we've got one. Um, that was really tough. It, it does get quite difficult when you've got multiple people firing at you, charging at you. I I need to practice this combat a bit more. Um, we've got a, another cave here actually. Yes, pick up that Hawkum juice. Right. And when did I set my trap? Oh, there's more dudes. There's more dudes nearby. Shit. There's a chest. Let me grab this chest. Collection manipulation? Okay. Yeah, I really do need to uh, <laughs> practice this combat. Poacher Tracker, let's get rid of you. There we go. Incendio's bloody good. Oh. The beasts are safer now. Right. There's a cave we could check out. But this is where we need to be to meet the ghosty. So... Oh, that's a nice little... Oh, that's a tunnel. That's where we're going, I think. Is that leading into some sewers? Is, there a... is that just a bridge? This might actually just be a bridge. It's just a bridge. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do this next time. Thank you for watching, everyone. Um, I may off screen go make some more Wigan Weld potions or, or buy some. Uh, I've got some things I can sell anyway, so I might just buy them and be lazy. But uh, yeah, looks like uh, the plot's really kicking off now. Can't wait to see what happens on our little adventure. I I'm guessing we are going into the Forbidden Woods um, or a cave nearby or something. But uh, very exciting. Hope you look forward to that. Bye bye for now, chaps. Wait! Ha! I nearly forgot. I wish I had forgot. We got a bean. It's time for a bean. I still can't find the key. Like, I, I don't know where I've put it. <sighs> Please be good. Oh, shit. I think I've got another earwax one. Oh. I think this is earwax. Alas, earwax. Ugh. I really don't want it to be... It's either that or Rotten Egg. And I don't want either of them. <coughs> no, that's Rotten Egg. 
I can't even chew that for two seconds. I'm going to throw that away. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Oh, that's absolutely fucking vile. Oh.